My name is Kelly Mish and I'm a periodontist at Michigan Implants and Periodontics and today we're talking about ozone. Here at MIP, we are very excited to be the leaders in a lot of different periodontal procedures and we're using the latest techniques and one of my favorite is, is having ozone because I think it's made a huge difference in our practice and in my patient success rates and I'm really excited about that. Ozone is something you've probably heard of ozone being in the atmosphere, you know, after a lightning storm you can actually smell it. It has a really distinct smell to it. But it's basically three molecules of oxygen. At the office we use ozone for treating for multiple different things. One thing we use it for is treating infections. So someone that has a mouth infection or a tooth infection, we use it after we take the tooth out to disinfect the site or assist. We use it for treating um, herpes complex cold sores that you can get in your lips or around your nose or in your mouth. They can be really painful ulcers that can leave, um, last up to two weeks. And ozone therapy can make that last for only up to like one or two days. So it's really, really a great product for, for patients that have had these chronic things. We also use it for treating cavities. So someone that may have a small cavity and they're not ready to have a filling in it, we could treat it with ozone gas and it may prolong that time for them to get a filling or they may never have to have that. Um, we use it for tooth sensitivity, so someone that has something called recession where their roots are showing. Um, we put ozone gas on it and it helps with, with cold sensitivity and sensitivity to air that a lot of patients complain about. You may have patients that take like sensitive toothpaste, and so this is something that they may not have to use that anymore. We also use it for um, disorders or diseases in the mouth that they have a lot of pain and ulcers and autoimmune issues, and so it can help um, reduce that and prevent that from coming back. But the main thing is, is it kills viruses, it kills bacteria, it kills fungi, it's basically a disinfectant. And so in the mouth when we use it, when our hygienists use it, they'll clean their teeth and this will actually be in the container that they're using to clean the teeth with the ultrasonic. I use this after every extraction, you know, we'll clean the socket out with it. We use it you know, for a multitude of different things because it's antibacterial. We also have it in an oil form. So this is um, ozone oil, and it can be in hemp seed, flax seed, olive oil, avocado oil, um, coconut oil, you know, anything you can think of. Um, and so the ozone, you keep this in the refrigerator too, but this is really good if you get like a cold sore or a bug bite and it takes the sting away, it takes burns away, and it makes it heal really, really quickly. So I just wanted to make other people aware of what ozone is and um, in dentistry what the uses are and how we use it at our office. My partners and I want the best for our patients, we have the best technology, and we want our patients to be safe. And ozone is something that has absolutely no contraindications and we're really excited about that.